Hey there, Joe Gaspard here from Joe Gaspard Performance Coaching. Today, let's talk about how to stop fucking up right now. So when I was in the Army, my last job in the Army, my, my last assignment was I got put in charge of the training department. And this was a training department for the largest aviation company in all of the Army, something like 450 soldiers, give or take. And that job was basically making sure that everybody was uh, trained up, combat ready. They'd gone to all the specialized schools. They had their weapons qualifications. Uh, they met the physical fitness standards, all of those sorts of things. So one day I had two soldiers that were going to air assault school. Now air assault is when you repel out of a helicopter. There's some other stuff that goes along with it, but come on, that's the cool part. So you repel out of a helicopter and uh, they teach you some other stuff. Anyway, uh, two soldiers are, are, are scheduled for this school. Something goes wrong. I don't know what. Still to this day, no idea. But something goes wrong and these two guys, they don't show up for air assault school. And uh, to put it mildly, holy hell is now raining down upon me. Uh, I end up in the sergeant major's office, which is... If you've ever been in the military, you know that's a pretty big deal when you're standing there in front of Sergeant Major because you fucked up so bad. So there I am, Sergeant Major, yelling at me, plus my first sergeant's there, my platoon leader's there, I'm there. The two soldiers who didn't go to air assault school are there. Their two uh, platoon leaders are there. The squad leaders are all there. This is everybody is there, and we're just... We're catching the wrath from this giant man. Sergeant Major was huge. Big guy, just took up the whole room. Big, booming voice. Uh, and he's just, he's letting us have it about how bad this is. And, and I've got this paperwork in my hand that I can prove the paperwork trail from beginning to end that these guys were informed they needed to be there. Everything was signed. Everything was done. And everybody is standing there. And I'm looking around and all this... Uh, leadership around me is deflecting. Well, this may have happened, Sergeant Major. Well, what about this, Sergeant Major? Well, what about that? And I just I finally just said, you know what? I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to be the guy that takes the heat for this. And I said, you know, I said, uh, raised my hand. I said, Sergeant Major, uh, permission to speak freely. And he looks at me. He's like, go ahead, soldier. And I said, uh, it was my fault. I dropped the ball. Uh, I'm prepared to take what any punishment you have to, dig, to to give out, and I take full responsibility for all of this. And, and everybody got real quiet. And Sergeant Major squinted at me and leaned across his big Sergeant Major desk, and he reached out and he grabbed my hand and he shook it and he looked me in the eye and he said, I'd promote you right now if I could. You see, that's how you stop fucking up immediately. You stand up, and even if everybody else is wrong, if you want to be the leader, if you want to lead others, you must be willing to do what no one else will do, and that's take the blame. Everybody wants the glory. Everybody is willing to get that pat on the back, but the leader, a true leader, knows that success and failure both fall on them. So if you want to be a leader, if you want to feel like you're not fucking up anymore, just be prepared to take full responsibility because once you've taken responsibility, it's not a fuck up anymore. Now it's a problem that can be solved. It's got an actionable set of steps that you can go through to make certain it never happens again. Passing the buck, trying to make it somebody else's fault, trying to get the heat and the blame off of you, that's how you fuck up. That's weak. Taking the responsibility for the success and the failure, that's where strength is. That's how you don't fuck up anymore. Look, that's all the time I have for today. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. You know I'm going to help you in any way that I can. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you know somebody who needs to hear this, share it with them. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.